Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Provience, and today I'm making beef tenderloin steaks with seared mushrooms and a red wine vinaigrette. But I really want to focus in this particular video on making the mushrooms themselves. So here they are. I've got some cremini mushrooms, these little brown mushrooms, which would grow up to be portobello mushrooms if you let them sit in the soil a little bit longer. But we've harvested them while they're creminis, cut them up into little wedges like this. And the first pointer I really want to stress with you is they've got to be coated with a little bit of, of something. Usually it's oil, um, but in this particular recipe, uh, I'm making a vinaigrette to drizzle over the steaks at the end. So I'm just going to use some of that vinaigrette to coat the mushrooms and perhaps marinate them. You could let them sit for an hour or so, let them soak up some of that beautiful flavor, or you could go right to the grill. So speaking of the grill, I've been preheating my grill with a vegetable basket. This is a really helpful accessory to have when you're grilling a lot of small things such as these. As you can imagine how difficult it would be to turn each one individually. So I just want to spoon those into the basket and then spread them out. There's something you should know about mushrooms, which is that they are about 90% water. And if too much water comes out too quickly, you end up really steaming the mushrooms and you end up with sort of a soggy texture. If you spread them out, leave them alone, you allow them to brown before that moisture comes out. Um, so I'm just going to let them sit and cook for another maybe two or three minutes till they're nice and brown on one side. This is the color you're looking for. This is brown. This is seared. Now you can go ahead and stir the mushrooms just briefly. So another side hits the bottom of that hot pan and then let them finish however long it takes, another a few minutes probably, stirring as little as possible. At this point, they're looking nice and tender, beautifully browned, and frankly, I would serve these right over a steak and be perfectly happy. But if you want to go another level, you can mix those with some bacon and onions uh, and a little bit of fresh herb. I've got some chopped chives here. Just stir those around for a few minutes and they're going to get even more delicious just make a spectacular topping for any steak.